All right, hi everybody. So I'm here with Pierce right now and Pierce is a graduating senior at San Clemente High School. Why don't you introduce yourself to everybody, Pierce? Hi, uh, my name is Pierce. I'm, uh, I'm currently a graduating senior as, as Joey said, and I'm uh, uh, very, uh, I, I'm very thrilled to have this opportunity to share my views uh, of uh, Mr. Lin's very uh, comprehensive and uh, effective uh, testing prep programs and consultation. Oh, awesome. That's really nice of you. So the first question I have for you is what happened that you were reaching out for help in the first place? Well, we initially tried the Princeton Review uh, to help bump up my SAT scores. Uh, I originally started at around 1100 for an SAT score. By the time I was done with the Princeton Review, I had 1300, but that still wasn't good enough. And also uh, the, the, the classes that they had, they had their own, like their own version of a Zoom session, like their own software. And it was really hard to work with. And it was just awkward to ask questions because you'd have to press the, a button and and basically you'd have to, uh, it, it was like a classroom, but but it was but it was very awkward to raise your hand. So they weren't using Zoom. They had their own software. Yeah, their own. They had their own software, and uh, to tell you the truth, it doesn't work as well as Zoom does. Well, I don't know why they wouldn't use Zoom. Um, do you remember how many kids were in your class? At least, uh, yeah, ten to eleven, depending on if somebody was absent or not. Did you feel like that was a good size, or would you want it bigger or smaller? I think that it was way too large and that whatever software they were using was just not making the interaction easier. Yeah, I don't know why they wouldn't use Zoom. That seems kind of like a missed opportunity. Um, yeah. So to get from 1100 to 1300, that's actually a really good improvement. How hard did you have to work for that? I had to work very hard. I Every day I'd come back from volunteering and I'd, uh, and I'd spend, I'd basically bust my entire afternoon uh working on on sat homework mm -hmm. and how long was that for like two months maybe yeah about about two months okay and then so then you found us um and so what was your experience working working with think prep well think prep was much better with uh with uh was much better than the Princeton Review because uh it, it because Think Prep was more uh, preci uh precision focused on the problems Princeton Review just wanted to give you a, an overview of the test mm -hmm. and it just didn't seem as uh as effective or natural mm. and so we worked together for what over the summer right yes. And then I remember targeting specifically with you a lot of the reading because I feel like that was the part that you needed the most work on. Um, and so in terms of the reading, uh, like going over the reading, do you have any comments or thoughts about that? Well, the reading was the hardest part of the test. The SAT is geared more towards the literary mind, which mm -hmm. I happen to be more of. Uh, it was the hardest section and getting all that, uh, getting all the advanced grammar and uh, the figuring out the slight nuances that the questions had, it, 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 your, uh, basically your, your consultation really helped a lot with that. Yeah, and what I appreciated about you is that no matter what article I was asking you to read, you always knew something about it. So it was something random about like amoeba or something, you knew something about it, or it was like traffic, you always had some tidbit to add to the conversation, which I thought was cool. Thank you very much. Um, so what was what was your ending score? My ending score, well, on the official SAT was a 1470. So that put me in the top 1% uh, as the test had, had recently been uh, made harder by the, the college board. Mm -hmm. And so that was another 170 points. And so from your starting point to the ending point, that's 370, which is probably one of the biggest things that I've ever seen. So that was overall, how much work do you think? That's four months of work? Overall, about four, four months of work, maybe give or take uh, a week. 
Yeah, and the cool thing about Pierce is that Pierce always did his practice tests. He did all his assignments. He didn't complain about it. So a lot of your score was due to your work ethic. Um, so walk me through when you got your test score. Were you expecting 1470? I was expecting around uh, around that range, somewhere mm -hmm. in that ballpark, because I had been getting that on on my practice tests. And mm -hmm. uh, as and I also noticed that on the newer practice tests, because uh, they had been getting progressively harder. So mm -hmm. I I knew I had to account for that. Mm -hmm. And so um, the day that you got the score, how did you feel? Relieved. Yeah, you'd been working hard for a really long time. Yeah. Um, and then uh, how, do you know how your family felt? Well, mom was very happy. Dad was also very happy. So that uh, that was very good. And it, it's opened up a lot of opportunities for me. Yeah. Um, we're in the midst of college application season right now. And Pierce, again, did a really good job on his essays. And he's already heard back from three schools so far. What were those three schools? Uh, they were uh, Loyola Marymount University, uh, University of Georgia, and uh, the University of Central Florida. Yeah, and I think um, University of Georgia was particularly hard this year. So I'm suspecting because Georgia actually requires test scores so I'm suspecting that your 1470 played a huge part in your admission uh, I believe so yeah um, and then I know you're also applying to some other schools like University of Florida which also has a huge testing component um, right. yeah so out of all the things we did was there anything that you found a little bit more helpful for you I think the most uh, helpful thing uh, uh, besides the test prep, which was very important, was navigating uh, ma uh, majors and basically uh, career paths uh, that were more in the literary sphere because my parents are more in the, the science uh, STEM fields. I'm, uh, I'm set, uh, I'm more in, in uh, I have more literary ability than I do have uh, mathematical ability. Which I honestly believe that you're selling yourself a little bit short there because there's no way you could have done well on the math on the SAT and not be at least somewhat competent in terms of math. That's true. But I will say that out of all the students I've worked with, Pierce is the one who has a very broad knowledge of a lot of things. Um, and I think what makes Pierce really unique is that he loves theme parks yes the the whole yes the whole bit of disney and universal and yeah all the all their great parks yeah and then how many model theme parks do you have um i have uh technically i have three but uh two of them are my my major ones uh and one of them was featured in my my cover letter yeah from for my common app it was such a unique selling point about Pierce that I felt like he really needed to highlight that and honestly that's why you're you applied to Central Florida right and all those schools because um near Orlando um nowhere yeah, better nowhere better um happiest place in the world maybe maybe um cool um so for other people who are looking for services what would you say to those people well, I'd say that uh, you are the best uh, uh, best uh, place in, I'd say, I don't know, probably maybe even the the best, uh, you know, the Princeton Review, they're, they're a very prestigious, very big uh, college with lots of academics. They didn't do, they, they weren't as good as you were. I'd say you're probably possibly the best, uh, uh, the best, the uh, best, the SAT prep reviews in in the United States, and they should come to you uh, uh, to get uh, to get those uh, to finally get the score that they need. And that... as for your and you have a what? No, keep going. And and uh, you also have a very uh, for for college for, uh, for college like admissions. You're 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 great for you know the college world inside and out. You know how to uh, know what. Uh, people, uh, you, you know how to give people, you know, majors what majors that uh, fit their personality and their skill set, 
and uh, direct, and you gave us a great variety of schools, which really is uh, helping me at, at this moment right now. Yeah. Um, uh, thank you for being so complimentary. But I again, I need to point out that you did your work. You came for the practice test. You didn't complain. Right. If you had not done any of that, I don't think your score would have improved. And I think 370 is one of the biggest improvements I've seen. So you get a lot of congratulations there. Um, here's a random question. Do you do you think any of the skills you kind of learned through test prep you're going to be able to apply in college? I know you haven't gotten to college yet. I'm just curious. Um, I think I've already been I've already been applying them. They've helped me a lot on my test taking, helping me budget time and uh, managing stress. Oh, cool. Nice. So anything else you want to share with anybody who's watching this? Any advice just in general? Well, I think, uh, like you said, the best advice is to do all of your work, all of it. Otherwise, you're not going to get the results that, that you want. Mm -hmm. A good work ethic uh, can get you anywhere. Cool. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Pierce. Oh, my pleasure.